Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to sketch a spark plug in SOLIDWORKS. This is simple geometry. We will, it is for a beginners this tutorial. So let's start. Now let's start to sketch spark plug. So first we will select front plane. Sketch. And here we will select first center line. And draw one center line downwards direction from origin point exit and make sure it is vertical and draw one more line and make sure it is horizontal now let assign the distance from origin point keep 2.9 inch ok and select one more center line and this line distance from this point keep 2.5 mm ok so this is the length of a spark plug and here we will make our first part uh, head spark plug head ok select line and start to draw from origin point and up to this line exit let assign this 0 0.1 inch this also 0 0.1 inch and this one make small 0 0.065 inch and this distance from here zero point one two five inch okay now this l mid mid distance zero point one zero four five inch and this length zero point zero six inch okay now the same as this mid distance 0 0.125 and the vertical length 0 0.12 now this geometry is fully defined select circle a line and draw one line vertical then connect with this point exit now let assign the distance one four zero point one four five five and this length zero point zero two five inch select ok now select this line and select construction geometry ok now select three point arc connect from this point to this point and here select select this line and select this make relation tangent it should be tangent or delete we, we want to make some more other relation select this line and uh, better delete this line again choose three point arc connect with this point and s select this line exit now see 
now let assign the distance from this point to this line 0.144 inch okay this is what we want okay select trim entities and trim this line select okay now this is the our exact geometry for spark plug now select revolve boss base cancel it and select a line and connect from origin point to end point now choose revolve boss base and select this line as a axis select ok now see this is the our body created make the color some red color so it will identify ok now we will make the insulator body so select front plane a sketch normal first draw a center line okay now select draw a half circle then down then again go back and draw a half circle down go back and draw the same half half circle draw again half circle you will just uh, go back and it, it will convert it in circle go back exit now let assign the dimension now again choose line take it down go back and draw a circle take it down and draw drop down this line now let assign draw one more line make sure this line from now select this circle this circle select this all circles and make relation equal okay now let assign the dimension 0.17 inch Zero point eight three zero two select zero point zero three. Okay, that's it. Now distance from this center point to this line zero point. okay now select the distance from this point to this line 0.1 the same as for this point to this point 0.1 and the gap between these two circles okay is by default and here also we will select the same thing 0 0.1 0 0.1 okay now just drag this line up to this line coincident 
now choose the full length 0.99 inch decide this length 0.41 inch and select this bottom width 0.205 inch okay now select this center line and this line and make this length 0.1715 inch that's it now select this line and this line okay by default point 10 okay now our geometry is almost finished make sure it is coincide with this line okay so now just select line and connect this end to this end now select revolve boss base select this line as a circular cus and select this this body and we will assign for insulating material we will assign some satin finish color cream satin finish plastic okay or white plastic better choose fillet select constant size 0.05 it's quite bigger select this edge select this face this face select this face also okay uh, this fillet uh, okay now let's move for a next part this is the insulating body and we will make another part full body now we will make the main body for spark plug so again choose front plane sketch select line and draw one vertical line and assign the length One point two zero seven inch. Select line now. Now start draw up to this point. Go back and draw a circle. Okay. Vertical line. exit select three point arc exit choose again line draw one vertical line one inside and connect now let's assign some relations draw one line here select a line 
draw one line up to from center point of this hole let assign the dimension from origin point to this line one point five one nine inch this length cancel it select center line and draw one center line horizontal center line select this line this line and this line make relation symmetric now this geometry is symmetric ok now select this line select this point select this axis actually delete is better now again draw one this point and make some uneven point now select this point with this point now here delete this line let's assign some dimensions Two eight eight five zero point two eight eight five, and this line zero point three zero eight, and assign this distance. Zero point zero zero two seven six. Okay. Now select center line and find a center point for this. Select this as a center point. Draw one vertical line. Now let assign this gap distance from here to this point. Zero point three mm. Okay. Now distance from here to this point zero point one four inch. Okay. Now let's assign this bottom length zero point forty one mm. from here to this length 0.285 inch and the distance from this point to origin point point one three eight and the distance from zero point two seven two seven five five nine zero five five okay now see the geometry is fully defined this all the points in their place as select this one and now we will assign 0 0.173 okay select okay
now our geometry is fully defined so select revolve boss base and choose this line as a axis select ok now select this revolve boss base body and choose iron iron and select rough iron that's it now here we will do some little modification because here we want to create a hexagon shape so edit the sketch normal now let assign the gap between this two line okay it's showing something or better delete this line and uh, we will create delete this dimension also delete this all relations now connect it select vertical and define the gap 0.36 okay choose center line and draw one center line now we will make some relation select these three lines and make relation symmetric okay okay select exit see we created some additional part now select this face a sketch edit okay so actually we want to cut it okay let's select this face sketch normal and select polygon and draw one hexagon exit now select this point and origin point and the last point horizontal let assign the length 0.6 2.4 inch okay now let's extrude it select through all and here select flip side to cut this select okay now see the hexagon shape is created that's it
now create one plane so select this bottom face plane and create one plane 0 0.05 inch flip side inside ok now select this plane a sketch select this outer circle convert entities see the this converted and go to helix and spiral and we want to create some threads choose pitch and revolution and pitch select reverse direction six number of revolution and degree start angle zero and select counter clockwise select ok now choose front plane a sketch now here we will create some profile for teeth select a line connect this this line and connect with this exit now select this line plane select those two lines and make relation equal and better to draw one center line also up to this point and one vertical line now select this center line and this two outer line and make relation symmetric now assign the angle 65 degree and draw one center line now assign the distance between these center lines to 30.2385 inch that's it now select exit now choose here swift cut profile selected now select here path so select this line now see the threads going to cut select okay now hide this plane now you can see the threads are created so this is the body for a spark plug now let's move for a next now we, we want to make some cutout here so select this rectangle and select show ok now choose front plane a sketch normal just go down select a line and start to draw from this point to this corner rectangle up to this up to end point and connect with start point exit again choose the same select this point connect up to little here up to here this line and connect with this line ok now make a relation select this line and this bottom line make vertical same relation we want to just cut out to show some select revolve cut choose this line as a axis line center line ok cast iron now hide this triangle 
now again choose front plane sketch normal draw one center line select corner rectangle and draw one rectangle up to this line and assign the dimension from here to outside line 0 0.05 inch ok and select revolve cut select this line as a axis ok now see we created hole inside now again choose front plane sketch normal choose a line and select this this end point up to this midpoint down and connect with this point exit define the midpoint I think this is exit ok the midpoint and everything is same it's coincide now let's assign the dimension zero point zero nine seven five inch and the distance from he here to origin point to this bottom line the full length distance 2.7315 inch that's it now select revolve boss base now this axis selected ok and select this part and assign the color satin finish white white plastic ok now select fillet 0 0.01 inch and select this corner ok now choose front plane sketch normal and here we want to create a geometry first draw a center line select corner rectangle now assign the width 0 0.05 inch now height from here to origin point Two point seven eight eight inch. That's it. Now select revolve boss base. The axis selected. Okay. Keep this one black. Now again choose right plane sketch. and we want to make some cutout so first choose center line select a line exit now select this point and this point vertical select this line this line and center line make relation symmetric ok now let's select the distance from this point to origin point 2.783 ok now it is selected now select revolve extruded cut choose here through all 
keep direction true also through all see we are going to cut through all okay now this this shape we created now again choose right plane sketch normal and here we want to create one now we are going to sketch some earth electrodes select corner rectangle draw a rectangle now assign it 0.5 0.05 inch and the length 0.11112 okay now select these three lines and assign relation symmetric okay now let's assign the distance from bottom point to the origin point or you can say top point 2.9 inch this is the our exit now select front plane sketch normal select three point arc okay select a line connect from here to end point exit now select this line this arc and this line make relation tangent now see select okay now select uh, exit from the body and choose here swift to boss base the path selected just select this profile now see it's going to take the calculate the root select okay now our electrode earth electrode ready this is the earthing electrode for spark plug So now our spark plug is ready. This is the simple geometry for uh, beginners or newcomers to how to sketch a simple and complete or complicated parts in SolidWorks. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks. Thanks for watching.